Hello there. I have an announcement to make and I'm releasing something that I hope will help the Elixir community and will help the adoption of Elixir. And that thing is called runelixir.com. It is a free 30 minute Elixir quick start. It is um, very much a condensed version of the Elixir docs basically. And I started writing this like three weeks ago after I uh, read the Rust by Example book and I also saw the Gleam uh, language tool. And I thought that is something Elixir needs as well. Because a lot of people nowadays, they he hear about Elixir, they hear about LiveView and Phoenix and they're amazed and they want to get started with Elixir. And I personally also already had the situation where people ask me, well, you know, how do I get started? You know, where can I go to, to learn what to do and how to get started? And I usually said, well, you know, install Elixir, uh, try out Livebook, that actually helped a lot, and then start reading the Elixir docs. But um, the Elixir docs, they are amazing, but they're also extensive. And they might be overwhelming for newcomers. And yes, there are more or less in, in introduction uh, sections in there, but also those go, go very much in depth. So I thought, I want to create something uh, that is much more condensed than that. It is really only like a, a very, like kind of like a cheat sheet for how to use the language. Because usually, you know, people who come to Elixir, they already have experience in another language. So they, they know how to work with lists and maps and classes, you know, when they come from OP functions and so on. And they just want to translate what they know in their language into Elixir. So they want to understand how do I define a function? How do I define a class or slash module? Um, how do I, you know, just run a, an application? How do I run a, uh, how do I build a website? And I personally love to learn things by just doing them, by just like, you know, diving into them uh, and trying them out firsthand. So that's why I wrote Run Elixir. And let me show you what I mean, then it all becomes more clear. So this is it, basically. This is uh, written with Hacksdocs or Xdoc, and um, it is hosted on Netlify. It's not on Hex, but it's also on GitHub. So if you want to contribute to this, very much appreciate it. Um, just go to GitHub, create a PR, and, and I will review it. And in the last three weeks or so, I started writing this, and I very much just go into the basics here. I just want to, like in 30 minutes, give you the, the, a cheat sheet of the language, you know, how to work with lists, for example. Uh, and I sometimes give a little bit more context, you know, for example, I say, well, lists are actually linked lists in Elixir, so um, they're not as efficient for uh, looking up stuff or for uh, appending stuff and so on. Um, but I try to keep it as high level as possible. And then I also go into tuples, you know, and also just say, well, this, this is how you can use a tuple. Um, I very much spend a lot of time on like the, the, the core things like maps, modules, uh, functions, for example, pattern matching. Um, and then also I give a little introduction here, like a little first how to get started with Phoenix uh, tutorial. So you install Phoenix, you create a new project, and then I um, also show them how to use the, uh, the generator for creating a, a to-do app, so to say. You know, and I'm going to flesh this out a little bit more. But I hope you understand this whole thing is just meant for people to get started with Elixir, to understand, you know, how can I, how can I start writing Elixir within one hour? However, going forward, I would also like this to be a very high level documentation for Elixir and the ecosystem. Um, for example, here can, you can already see that I include links to how to join the community, you know, that's also hard when you start in a community, like where can I start uh, talking, where can I talk to other Elixir developers? Uh, how do I get, stay informed, you know, which newsletter should I join, which podcast should I listen to, which blog should I read, um, and so on. And then how do I find a job eventually, right? Is there, uh, are there Elixir jobs or not? And also how do I find more libraries that I can use? Like how does the whole dependency thing work? And I actually explain that here. However, I also want this to become useful for existing Elixir developers that have been working with the language for a while to learn about new topics or to learn, you know, what else is out there. But just to get, just to understand the, the context and the high level things, and then they can go and, and look at the Elixir documentation and other documentations uh, to, to learn these things in depth. Um, for example, one of the, the topics that I already wrote about is the asynchronosity or asynchronous uh, stuff. 
that you can use in Elixir. So I talk about the spawn, the task, the gen server, the supervisor classes, so all these things. Um, just to give you an introduction to how to work with asynchronous processes in Elixir. And like the async stuff is not super fancy. You know, I guess all of us have worked at least with a gen server um, by now. But I also have other drafts, for example, handling state, where I talk about agents, which you know about probably. However, also things that you might not heard about or that you might not have used before, um, but that might be useful for you. For example, uh, ads. Well, you might have heard about that, but then there's also debts. Then there's also amnesia and there's even persistent term, you know, and all these kind of things, unless you see them somewhere in the code base, you might just not hear about. So I just want to kind of collect and, and aggregate this information, um, put very short demos, like little live book scripts that you can use and, and start working with a persistent term, for example, um, and to just to give you this little overview here so that you can go and explore new things that you might not ha have heard about. All right. And uh, that's it. This is Run Elixir. Um, try it out. It's just runelixir.com. Uh, read through the docs. Let me know whether I made any mistakes. You know, that is most, like most certainly I have some mistakes in here, so please uh, correct me. Um, go and uh, look at GitHub if you want to contribute and otherwise just in general give me some feedback. Maybe also give me topic ideas. If you want to learn about certain topics that, you know, you just want to have a high level context thing on that you think might be interesting for others too, let me know and uh, I'm happily, um, I will happily add it. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoy this. Um, share runlixia.com everywhere and I hope uh, you think this is a good idea as well. Cheers.